All right, guys, how you doing? It's Rubia. I hope you're all well. So in this video, we're going to be looking at a pretty, pretty brand spanking new pedal from a company called Game Changer Audio. If you've not heard of Game Changer Audio, they're a company based out in Latvia, and they specialize in all analog high voltage overdrive slash distortion pedals, one of which you may have heard of called the Plasma Coil. So the Plasma Coil is a high voltage distortion pedal, whereby it takes your guitar signal, converts it into thousands of volts, and those bursts of energy are sort of discharged into a gas-filled xenon tube, xenon tube. Uh, and they basically, the, that, that uh, burst of energy is what connects the circuit or breaks it. And it's really cool because on the pedal itself, you can see the, the voltage happening inside this little tube. So whenever you play, you see that voltage happen, gives you the sound, and then when you stop, like a Velcro fuzz almost, um, it breaks the circuit so you get no sound. So it's natural gating in a way coming from uh, that particular feature set. So this pedal was, you know, I saw it on Anderton's and a bunch of guys got it. They did a rack version even. Uh, and it's, it's an awesome, awesome idea that no one had really ever thought of. Then introduce the new Third Man Plasma Coil. So this is the brand new version, and this was uh, designed uh, in conjunction with Jack White, who needs no introduction, and of course Third Man Records. Uh, and the idea was that they wanted to create a new plasma coil pedal which Jack would use for his unmistakable guitar sound that you may have heard. It's this kind of Velcro-y, fuzzy, uh, like octave-y sound. So if we look at the close-up camera, as you can see the artwork here it looks really, really awesome. And I'll go through the layout really quickly. Um, from left to right, you've got voltage, which is like gain. Then you've got your low frequency. Uh, We'll, we'll touch on the type knob in a minute, high frequency and then volume. And then on the bottom, you've got a switch to turn it on and off. And then you add in this extra mode, which is latching or momentary via a switch on the back. So you can choose whether or not you want to have bursts of this additional effect. And then in the middle here, you've got a type knob. And essentially what that allows us to do is select different types of octave, sub-octave and upper octave uh, in a kind of octave fuzz style sound, especially the octave above. Um, but on top of that, it's added voltage. So even you can see uh, sort of marked out by the little thunderbolt. Essentially, it gives you more voltage and it gives you upper octaves and lower octaves. Uh, and to be honest, there are endless amounts of fun in a pedal like this. Before we get started on the tones, it's worth saying that you know me, I love fuzzes, I love odd pedals, I love weird sounding pedals. So I really was interested to try this out. And the guys at Game Changer actually gave me this pedal when I was out at the Guitar Summit. Um, so this isn't a responsive video or anything, I just, I know that I'm gonna enjoy it. So I wanted to plug it in and show you guys real quick how it sounds. So expect filthy, colossal, dirty, intense sounds coming forward. I'm using my Les Paul, may use a Tele or a Strat or the Gretsch even. Uh, we're running into the Super Kraken on a clean, and then that's going into an ox box with the American V30 cab model. Uh, so without further ado, let's check it out. Okay, I've got the 71 Les Paul Custom. This is how it sounds straight into the Super Kraken, gain just below 12 on clean. <laughs> So it's pokey because it's a humbucker. So anyway, uh, now let's take a look at the plasma coil, the third man plasma coil, and uh, let's just engage it. Everything's at 12. We're not going to go using the sort of extra voltage switch just yet. We're just going to go through gain and what the low frequency and high frequency does. So this is how it sounds. <laughs> That sounds angry. I'm losing a bit of level, so I'm gonna boost it. First things first, check out on the close-up camera. Hopefully John can zoom in on this so you can see, but watch the voltage make the connection in that xenon gas-filled tube. Yes.
It's very cool. It's it's definitely like a distortion, but it it's, good. it's definitely a distortion, but it's got this extra intensity to it, which is coming from the thousands of volts. Probably really dangerous if you put your finger in there, which I wouldn't recommend, and you probably can't anyway. But um, yeah, that's so cool. Right, so let's check out the range of gain. So when there's very little gain, you can hear that that um, the voltage is choked, so you get this really intense Velcro, like a gated fuzz. Almost, probably, need to put a little bit of gain in there. So it's a little bit too much, let's boost it a tiny bit. Kind of cool, definitely a weird effect, you can use that in places. Oh, it, you can tell it's going to be girthy. Anyway, let's put the gain to three. So it's it's got tons of gain on tap, and that's even before we've used the extra voltage switch. Um, let's check out the EQ, see how effective it is. Okay, I like that. Right, loads more. I just dropped a load of picks out of my pocket. Right, this is more uh, low end. Awesome. Right, full low end. Ooh. There is tons, but it's all usable. Like, I wouldn't say, I mean, that's a lot of low end, but it didn't sound like it was taking over. So, high end, here we go. Again, usable wherever you put it. I think at halfway for me, that's where I'm enjoying it the most. Right, next up, let's throw on that extra voltage uh, or the second mode, which we can then move between uh, extra voltage or gain, if you want to call it that, into the octave realms. So uh, let's start with it all the way to the left. Here we go. So it gives you a bit more mid-range and definitely bumps things up a bit. So I don't know what I'm doing there. I just thought it would have sounded cool with the slide and sure enough it did. So that extra voltage just gives you a lot more body, a lot, a lot more beef to it. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take off a bit of low end and throw in the first lower octave.
Sick. Two octaves below. That is so sick. It, it tracks really well. I'm just getting carried away, but that's so cool. The cool thing about that is if you write a, like a top line melody over one of your tracks, you've got loads of support and it really tracks well. It is worth saying, depends on the pickup you're on, because this is bridge. Listen to how much more it tracks on the neck. Awesome. Right, octave above. So this will be more like your uh, traditional octave fuzz. So if I go... It's angry in a really good way. Middle. Oh, it's so good. Right, okay. Boost the low end again. Anyway. Ridiculous, ridiculous, in, in such a good way. Right, this is an octave above and below. This will be fun. It's full of cool ideas. I'm, I'm already like, I could use this all over Tosca stuff again. Getting carried away. Right. Two down, one up. I'm just, I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just, it just sounds so random. And it's one of those things, I'll find a sound that'll really work for that. Um, what could you do? Oh my God, so cool. Wait, what I'm gonna do is swap guitar real to the Gretsch Penguin. Okay, I've got the Gretsch Penguin. Um, I'm pretty sure Jack White has used or does use Gretsch, so this is probably quite accurate. Into the clean, so this is what we got on bridge. Here we go, straight in.
sounds wicked. I'm immediately into that sort of songwriting, riff writing kind of mindset with a pedal like this. Usually happens when I'm playing uh, a pedal that does something a bit different from the usual. Uh, there's no doubt about it. It's built extremely well. It's really good sounding. It feels great. And there's tons of sounds on tap. Um, again, another one for me to audition on the board. Last thing I'm going to do is plug the Strat in real fast, see how that sounds. Okay, I've got the 61 Strat. This is how it sounds straight into the clean. Probably not the right speaker model for this guitar, uh, in the sense that it's definitely mid-heavy. But it will do the job. Here we go. This is plasma in uh, no voltage, everything at 12. Cool. Throw in the extra voltage. Definitely good for a, for a Strat Fuzz. Right, I'm going to throw on Octave Below. Is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Right, I've put loads of gain in and it's the octave above. Let's have a listen. <laughs> That, that wins for me. Just that. Just that in itself. Just the most aggressive vibrato. And it just, oh, it's great. I don't know what, I'm kind of, I've broken a sweat, feel like gurning, that's a good thing. And that will be the end of this demo. Uh, really, it's a collection of tones uh, with this pedal. Um, just because I thought, I've got this pedal, I really want to try it out, I'm going to show you in the video. Uh, as I said, it's not a sponsored video, I'm not being paid any money to, to tell you this pedal is good. This is literally me just trying it out, knowing that I was going to enjoy myself, because it's definitely the kind of pedal that I find myself stumbling across for things like Tosca, or any kind of weird sounds. Um, just because it takes, you know, it's nice to deviate a little bit from your archetypal guitar sounds. And pedals like this facilitate that in, in buckets. The Third Man Plasma Coil is a fantastic product, in my opinion, for that sound. It tracks really well for all the lower octave and higher octave stuff. You've got tons of low end and high end if you need it, tons of gain on tap, loads of level. Um, it feels good. You can get Velcro fuzz sounds. You can get almost Germanium fuzz sounds. You can do the octave Octavio thing, uh, plus loads of weird, almost like ring modulated kind of fuzz sounds. Um, yeah, really impressed with it. I think it's fantastic. I'll put a link in the description box below uh, in case you're interested in this pedal. 
Thank you for watching this video. That is the third man plasma call from Game Changer Audio. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and links to that pedal will be in the description box. Along with links to my brand new clothing line if you would like to see any of the t-shirts, especially ones that I'm wearing right now that I'm now sporting in different videos. Uh, I've got a full range of t-shirts, different and hoodies and long sleeves and beanies and things like that. So go check out my new clothing line if you want to grab one of these t-shirts. It's in the link in the description box. As always, thank you for watching, like, subscribe and share, and I'll see you all very soon.